is Sharon about to get plugged. <laughs> spending a week in Tasmania and everyone's excited except for maybe it's going to be a bit cold this is where we're staying for two nights at the Port Arthur Villas and just off to my right out over that way is um, Port Arthur itself it's a bit hard to see it in the distance there but we'll be there tomorrow and we'll also be doing the ghost tour tomorrow scary scary we have unit number one which is named after Henry Savory fairly basic um, unit but you'll get to see inside this is coming into the front door Got a TV, kitchenette area, little lounge area, there's chicken head. Did you enjoy the flight? It was wonderful. <laughs> this is a bathroom. Coming into Chloe's room. A couple of bunks there for any other kids that want to come along. And there's the main bedroom. And then back out. And that's the tour of the room. We're at Port Arthur and we're going to pretend we're convicts for the day. We're here at Port Arthur and uh, one of the more somber places here is from the Port Arthur Massacre that happened on 28th of April 1996. And uh, this is a memorial site, so 35 people were killed. The cross in commemoration of the 35 people that passed away with their names listed on it over there. This is the cafe, or the re remnants of the building where people had been killed from the massacre. to do the Isle of the Dead tour. The area behind us is where all the sort of hierarchy and more important people were buried.
rock thing. I don't know. A rock thing. Devil's Gate. Is that what it's called? What? I don't know. What the Tasman called? Arch. That too. <laughs> Where's the blowhole? It's back there. Oh. We're gonna drive it. When we go back, we go to it. Is it the thing that the water goes... Yep. yep. We're currently at the Tasman Arch and this is what it looks like. So we're here at the ta blowhole. We bought some chips and we've got this <laughs> seagull following us the whole way, hoping that we drop some chips or feed it. But it's not going to happen. What are we doing? We're here at Port Arthur, about to do our ghost tour. <laughs> <laughs> Entry, just the last part of the ghost tour. Here's Chloe. How was the ghost tour? There you go. Back out in the darkness. We are here at Richmond Jail, the oldest jail in Australia, I think. Established in 1825, all the convicts used to come here. Men's solitary. These are the solitary rooms. Some people were put in here for stealing loaves of bread. See how dark it is in there. Wouldn't have been very nice being stuck in there for 21 days or more. This gentleman here was put in here for s stealing bread. Committed for seven years. Just about to go into one of the rooms where they used to put them into solitary confinement and uh, it would be very uncomfortable I reckon. And I'll be the jailer and close the room. Is it dark? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on video. This is the flogging yard where they used to get lashed. Here's Sharon about to get flogged. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cookhouse. Some of the utensils, cutlery, knives and forks used for cooking. This is the bread oven. They used to make yummy scrumdiddlyumptious bread. Fireplace. And it's a model of the jail in the old days. What is it? Behind the door. Oh, there's Chicken Head. Here's Chloe. And these are the clothes that they used to have to wear. This is the jailer's quarters. Not sure what's down there. Shoes. Old boots. Sleep in here. This is the punishment cell, and Chloe's been naughty, and so she's stuck there now. This was a man trap they used to set 
out in the uh, grounds so if people escaped and they stood on it they would get stuck. And this is actually the javelin room or the guards room where they used to sleep and get snugly warm by the fire. This is the women's solitary cells. And up the end here is what it would have looked like to be locked in solitary confinement. This lady was Emma Martin. Defense was insolence. Sentence to second of February 1838. 21 days in solitary confinement and rations of bread and water. And all she had to go to the toilet was that bucket. This is an old school washing machine and a spin cycle or what they actually used to do is put the clothing in there and spin the wheel and it would essentially squeeze the water out. And these are some old relics that were uncovered. Police badge, lantern, some gunpowder and um, cartridges, some weapons. Very small and uncomfy. Another sleeping area. This is coming up to the commanding officer's room. Where he used to have a view over the jail to make sure things ran smoothly. This is a photo taken in June 2022 of a lady in the window. As we come out here, that's the window up there. And the photo is taken at 10.30 at night time. And that room is just a storage room. Ooh. Spent the day here at Richmond. And we just had lunch at the Richmond Arms Hotel. And they have the best garlic. In the world. And this is Richmond. to go into the old Hobart town down this way Two cars on fire in our travels throughout Tasmania. Yeah. 